Have you ever wished that someone would do a tutorial on how to hook up a tow dolly? Well, you're in luck because today we're going over to see our friends, Bruce and Cheryl, and Bruce is going to teach us how to hook the tow dolly up to his Class C motorhome. I'm Kevin. And I'm Amy. And we're Camping, Camping Companions. Companions. Okay, I'm going to show you how to hook up a tow dolly here. We have a little handle here for uh, picking this up and carrying it around. You can't really stand up. You're kind of hunched over when you walk. So if you're like me and have a bad back, or if, you're, or if you have a healthy back, it won't be healthy that long. So, I found this at Harbor Freight. I don't remember what it cost. It wasn't much, but it's great. And I'm sure you can find these other places too. But all you gotta do is pick it up then, set it down, and away you go. Trust me, you're gonna want this. Take it off, toe dolly dolly out of the way. Hello, dolly. <laughs> so now you've got it on here securely. Now you gotta hook up your safety chains. And this little cable here, you hook that up as well, because what happens is if for some reason, if this comes off, this thing will go tight and it'll activate the brakes. You're supposed to take the chains and crisscross them so that if, if this comes off, it'll cradle it, it'll hold it in place. Just put that on. Sides. And then your other your brake cable here. Put that on. And then your lights. Now this cable is pretty long, so I had to wrap it around a little bit. But you don't want to have it too short, because when you take a turn, you could snap it. Get that in there good. And then time to check the lights. So what I normally do, I'll just put on the four ways because I don't have to start it. And if that, they're working, usually everything else works. So we go do that real quick. Go run there and turn on the four ways. Okay, success. <laughs> so we're looking good. All right, we'll shut off the four ways. Okay, now you're going to want to bring this with you. So the way I carry it. like that and I have straps that I strap on here hold it in place. There are brakes in here that operate so as you're slowing down the uh, it detects that you're slowing down and the brakes will come on. There is no adjustment or anything inside the, the RV for it. It just um, activates on its own and because of that I mean it's a great feature to have however you don't you can't back up when, when the car is on here you try to back up those brakes will lock up on you stop at a store or something make sure you can pull straight out again i try to find sites that accommodate maybe 44 foot or 35 whatever just a little longer than we have so there's plenty of room for both the car and the tow down other options if you want to bring your car to your your site you can drive it have someone drive it there but that's kind of impractical there are, you can flat tow if you have a vehicle that will flat tow, that's great. Um, you can uh, rent a car when you get to your campsite. Um, call Uber. I mean, there's a few options. But uh, I would say in order of the best to worst is probably flat tow first. And I, I hope someday I'll be able to demonstrate that. Um, uh, then there's the tow dolly is probably the second best option. If you're going nearby, like we're, we go to some campsites that are not too far away, and then we'll just drive the car. You know, my wife will drive the car, I'll drive the RV. So anyway, that's the uh, pretty much it on the uh, tow dolly as far as hooking that up. We'll show you how to hook the car up in just a second. All right, here's how we get started. First of all, these are just kind of stored like this. So take these off. Side. Those are your safety chains. Uh, we'll get to that later. 
this is what holds the thing up. Take this off and the safety pin, which I lost on our last trip, <laughs> but there's a pin that goes through there with a cotter pin. And I found the cotter pin sitting over here. I think I forgot to put it on. Don't do that. Do as I say, not as I do. Anyway, all right, once you do that, you want to just push this down. And the whole thing comes down. This thing here swivels. Make sure it's lined up. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but the closer the better. And then you go get the car. Okay, now what we have to do, the thing that I slid off earlier, put that down, screw it on, tighten it up. And then the safety pin that I lost, somewhere between Racetown Lake and Bradford, Pennsylvania, that slides through there, cotter pin. I will be replacing that before I go on my next trip, trust me. Okay, so then you need to put on the straps. It's got uh, imaginary straps here. One big fat one that goes over the top. And try to get it right in the middle, best you can. This one here, you hook down here, like so. We got another, these straps that go on either side of the tire. Big one, the fat one up the top. Tighten this up. And then you just feed this through. And, uh, you know, just, Basically, something like that. Now, I bring over a little tarp with me. Let's put it on here, this is for the safety chain. The reason I use the tarp, well, a couple reasons. I don't want to get dirty. I start bringing this, I lay it down, whatever I'm going to put the safety chains on. What you do is just take your chain, and there's, all right, you put it around whatever you can under the car. And just to clip it on. So you duplicate everything I did on this side to the other side. Uh, you know, that's about it. <laughs>